Hi, welcome. Today I'm going to do a little tutorial on how to do a separated outline. Uh, first we started with the text item here. Um, click on your text item and then come down to your palette and right click, use your opposite mouse button and give it an outline, which it starts with a hairline outline. Now let's thicken it up. A shortcut to get to the outline dialog box is F12. So I'll bring that up. I'm going to set my thickness at 0.2 inches and come down here to rounded and set this behind fill and scale with image. That's our first layer. To make the separated part you have to make a duplicate so you can do a control D but then it's going to be laying on top. The next step is you have to send that object to the to the behind that first object so uh, we have to click arrange, order, and uh, back one or to the back of the page so it doesn't look like anything changed because you have two exact objects on top of each other. Next, let's we still have that object selected as long as you didn't click off and right click and that changes the color of the outline. Now we have to increase the thickness. Back to that F12 and we'll just double it so it's thicker and so we'll go 0.4 and click OK and if you click off there's your separate outline. Um, once you have your separated outline to make it look nicer you can adjust the spacing. So if we select both objects here by lassoing them and you go under text and paragraph formatting you can come down to character and add some spacing and experiment until you get it to look right. 25 might be good. Uh, that didn't change too much. Let's go 50 and keep spreading it out and spreading it out. If you don't want the outlines to touch just keep adding more till it doesn't touch. And you can adjust those outline thicknesses to thicker or thinner as you need it or square outlines or round outlines. You have lots of different options to make a separated outline look. Uh, like a college look. Okay, thanks for watching our tutorial.